Welcome to the Toomey Stock Market Report Alert. I'm James Toomey and today is Friday, August 26, 2022. Well, first off, you want to go to ToomeyStocks.com. That's the number 2ME Stocks.com. There you'll have all the information that you require. Sign up. Make sure you never miss an alert of what's happening on our trades and what positions that you should be taking. So what's going on today? We want to get a little bit of information out. Simply said, Powell came out in Jackson Hole speech today, basically that interest rates are going to continue to rise and he's on a path to fight inflation. So what we want to look at is the TBT, or short bonds, the 20-year Barclay ETF, Barclay ETF bond fund. So we look at this and a couple of things stand out. This is the daily chart. I'll magnify it here. If you today we're way down and there's quite a bit of volume in selling. So if they're going to raise interest rates, in theory, the yields on bonds should go up. We haven't really seen that since the run up from last January and then it abated to a, a low back in June. And if today and yesterday's sell-off is telling us it's telling us that six months from now, the Fed will be in a position where they're going to reduce rates. I'm not sure that's going to happen. And here's the reason why. We had QE where it was quantitative easing. In other words, the Fed was lowering interest rates to stimulate the economy. They were buying up all the bonds for long-term mortgage and also short term. And they were also buying stocks out there to keep the economy and cash flow. That was during COVID. And of course, before that was the financial crises. We're stuck in that model. Well, as Feds, you would think the reverse would happen. The Fed raising rates, the yields would go up. The reason why it's not, the government has jumped in and replaced the stimulus by the Fed with all these stimulus bills. We've got the infrastructure bill, the chips bill, the inflation green act bill. All those are injecting billions and billions of dollars the next several years into the US and the economy is going to flourish with that. As it does, they're going to, it's going to cause companies and to compete for people. There's no people now at 3.5% unemployment and what we're faced with is a tug of war between the government stimulus and the Fed raising rates. Ultimately, what we are faced with is the government is accepting high inflation. In return, they're going to flood the market with capital. So how do we trade that? Well, right now, we're going to hold the TBT position. We've talked about this before. It bumped into the Toomey trend track line right here. And it's repelled. It's still above our 9 EMA. It's well above our 14 EMA. And it's nowhere near our 50 EMA. If you can see on, these, on this report, I'll make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to still hold it until we get some uh, inflection points. We may be getting stopped out uh, since it's getting, it did hit below the 9 EMA. We might have had a third stop out. I'll look at that. I'm going to update all our stops in the weekly report. So you want to stay abreast of that. So that's one thing. The other thing is we're still playing energy and natural gas is, has taken off. This is the daily chart and it that has come down and bumped into the 14 EMA low selling volume today. So any weakness, it's a good time to continue to add to this account. Our Let's look at our Schwab broad market, which mimics the S&P. That has taken a big hit today. Again, not a lot of volume in selling. It's a, it has eclipsed our 9 and 14 AMA. So our first third stops have kicked off. And then we now have to make a decision. We have not received our sell signal yet. So we're going to hold that position for now. So stay abreast. Get on to ToomeyStockMarkets.com. Get your information real time updated, not only on video, but email alerts. Happy trading, and it's Friday, August 26th. This is James Toomey.